But first, a right old mess, a catastrophe, a fiasco. Just some of the reaction to news this morning that plans for West Ham to buy the Olympic Stadium have collapsed. The government said given all the legal fights, this move ends all the uncertainty. The plan is to rent it out instead. But who will want it? How much will it cost? And how much will this new plan cost you? Here's our political correspondent, Simon Harris. It's back on the market, but the goalposts have moved. London's Olympic Stadium will not be handed lock, stock and barrel to West Ham. Instead, the club will have to reapply to be one of a number of future tenants post-2012. West Ham's deal to take over the stadium on a 100-year lease is in tatters. The government and the mayor pulled the plug last night because of the continued uncertainty about the outcome of legal challenges from Spurs and Leighton Orient and an anonymous complaint to the European Commission. West Ham's original proposal announced eight months ago relied on a £40 million loan from Newham Council. But Spurs complained that amounted to illegal state aid and the case was due before the High Court next week. I think the lawyers for the government and the OPLC were clearly saying to them this is a prima facie case of state funding. It didn't matter that it wasn't from the government, it was from a local authority putting money into what is effectively a private bid. And uh, they knew that they were going to lose. But the mayor and ministers insisted the decision to reopen the bidding was simply a way of ending the legal paralysis. What we're doing is, instead of uh, selling it to West Ham, we're keeping it in uh, the public domain and renting it, which will be allow us to cover the cost of running the stadium and will enable us to deliver both a, a football legacy for the stadium and athletics as well. The bill for the Olympic Stadium already stands at £486 million. It's expected to cost a further £95 million to convert it after the Games. That's made up of £35 million from the Olympic budget, the £40 million from Newham Council, leaving another £20 million still to be found. The taxpayer will have to put more money into it up front, but in return for that it will get a number of million pounds each year. It basically in return for a £20 million sum up front, it will now get a, uh, an amount of rent each and every year. So I think it's very difficult to argue that the UK taxpayer has been disadvantaged. Whichever football club gets the stadium and West Ham is still the favourite, the running track will stay, which should help London's bid to host the 2017 World Athletics Championships. Do we want to be back in a position that we were in in 2002, where we had to withdraw from the World Athletics Championships because we didn't have a suitable stadium available? Of course we don't. Olympic history has a long list of host cities who've ended up with costly white elephants. Tonight it's by no means certain that London's showpiece stadium will break the mould. Simon Harris, London Tonight, Stratford. So a major U-turn by politicians and Olympic bosses. Uncertainty ahead for London's taxpayers and for the city's football fans. The much-reported battle between Spurs and West Ham for the stadium, which has gone all the way to the courts, is now over. So what do the fans think? Sally Williams has been finding out. It's Darren Garth and Adrian Dunn, Talk Sport. Well, the West Ham deal for the stadium has fallen through, so now clubs will have to bid for the right to be tenants. And do West Ham fans want to sell Upton Park and be tenants? The phone-in phone lines haven't stopped at TalkSport. It's surprising perhaps any fan knows what to think when no one knows what will happen. But they're not the type to hold back. The whole thing has been a total, absolute waste of time and shows what a basically gutless bunch the government are in the end when they put under pressure. They don't want the aggravation, they don't want the trouble. So they backed off. But disdain from Tottenham's former chairman was balanced by relief from those who believe the club will now stay at home in Haringey. Uh, a few whoops, not quite so much as when it was announced West Ham were, had won the bid in. Any fears at all? Fears that um, the funding that's been promised may now disappear, but um, we'll trust Daniel Levy on this one. And what about West Ham? I hardly need tell you it's mixed feelings. Many fans that saw this as a, a, a blank piece of paper, a new start, a fresh beginning. We haven't won anything since 1980, thank you Trevor Brookin. What if it still goes there though? Be most really, I wouldn't go and watch them in another game at all. Um, so that'll be the end of your football? Yes, watching. it would be, I uh, think. Oh, that's really sad. Yeah, yeah. Who do you blame that it's all been... Oh, well, clearly it's uh, Tottenham and Leighton Orient. I mean, they've got their own personal vendettas and they want to get their own... Uh, part of the uh, scheme. Back in the studio, it seems some of the fans have hung up their dreams with the phone. Some of the West Ham fans feel 
horribly let down uh, because the, the process has now stopped and West Ham won't be the owners of the football club. But I think in general, people who wanted the Olympics to come to this country feel a bit let down because we're up in the air. Less than a year to go to the Olympics and we're completely up in the air as to what we're going to do with the stadium. And so the fans are uncertain, the legacy is uncertain. The only thing that's certain is that. Sally Williams, London Tonight. And Simon joins me now. Yeah, this is the point, isn't it? They're, they're being billed as ending the uncertainty, but actually it begins again right now. Absolutely. I mean, we're told this is about ending the uncertainty over the court case, whether the stadium would be ready for the 2014-15 football stadium mm. and the damage it was doing to our 2017 bid. But the new uncertainty is over who will end up there. Mm. Will it be West Ham? They still want to. Will Spurs re-enter the bidding? Uh, they're keeping their cards close to their chest tonight. And, and what about that £20 million? Where's that coming for? Make it £60 million if uh, new and pull out. The one thing I am sure of when it comes to figures is this is a stadium that was supposed to cost £282 million. By the time it's converted, it's going to be closer to £600 million. The one thing a lot of the Olympic bosses will be sure of is they need that athletics championships in 2017 now. They, they really need it, don't they? And that oh, is not certain. It's all part of the, the, the legacy uh, hymn that they keep singing. 2017 is what it's all about, why we, want, why we built this stadium. It's not certain. This, in a sense, should help. I mean, it's a little unedifying the process, but it does mean that the track is guaranteed. The only thing that isn't certain is whether there'll be anyone else in there. We, if we win the 2017 bid, will the athletes turn up and find themselves chasing around after tumbleweed? And that's next month. Simon, thank you. Next tonight.